Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai marriage visas. Uh, we're specifically discussing Thai O visas or marriage visas in the context of the post-income affidavit era. So for those who are unaware, uh, there are other videos on this channel where we describe uh, what's happened and been announced by both the U.S. Embassy and the U.K. Embassy here in Thailand and I think is probably going to probably ripple out to other embassies as well, where basically they have now announced that as of January 1st, 2019, they will no longer be issuing income affidavits for those seeking extensions of things like the Thai O visa for marriage or like the Thai retirement visa. Um, that being said, uh, we're concentrating on the Thai marriage visa category in this video, and what does the visa extension application process look like in the aftermath of the income affidavit regime. For those who are unaware, in the past you'd get this income affidavit, it was a fairly straightforward procedure, go down to the embassy, fill out an affidavit stipulating one's, uh, one's income, and then sign it, have it notarized, that notarization would be legalized by the Thai Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and that entire document would be used as the basis, basically as, as most of, if not all, the evidence of one's financial ability to remain in the kingdom. And in the past, a Thai O marriage visa could simply be um, extended based on that affidavit. Uh, as the embassies of both the UK and the US have made clear, January 1 will mark the end of that era. There will no longer be any of these income affidavits issued. And moving forward, that's going to leave us in a position where we're not going to be able to deal with that instrument uh, when getting a Thai marriage visa extension. So where does that leave us? Well, basically there's gonna be two methodologies that I can see pretty much being a certain method of proving up one's ability to financially support oneself and one's family here in the kingdom uh, in order to get a Thai O visa extended. One is lump sum uh, funds in a bank account. For example, uh, if it's lump sum, it's 400,000 baht in a Thai bank account. Uh, for a Thai O visa extension, or being able to show ongoing, uh, sustained, and regular injections of income into one's Thai bank account on a monthly basis. And in order to meet the monthly threshold requirement, one needs to show at least 40,000 baht in a Thai bank account coming into that bank account on a monthly basis. So those seem to be the two hard and fast ways of dealing with this matter. Um, I suspect there's going to be a little bit of nuance uh, that we may see regulatorily, probably six or eight months down the road, where we start seeing, you know, perhaps, you know, other documentation can be used as sort of ancillary documentation to prove up one's financial ability to remain in the kingdom. Uh, but as of the time of this video, those two are going to be the hard and fast ones that we know we're going to be able to use in the post-income affidavit era.